I used to hate telling this story. These are the, the most embarrassing and just bizarre thing that has happened um, to me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've started Twitter fights, I've gotten Shane Morrison's I call into a Twitter fight, which is a completely other story. But this one is just on a whole other level. The RCMP, so the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, thought that Brendan Yuri was going to shoot up my small town school. So this happened about a year ago, I want to say. And basically, it was around the time of Sarah Yuri's birthday. Well, I only know this because I remember she was posting a whole bunch of photos. One of those was a big group photo, and there was a tiny image of Brendan. Like just brand into like the back row or whatever. So she posted that and I was sitting in my fourth period science class and I was minding my own business, you know, just like waiting for the bell to ring because class hadn't officially started yet. And these people were talking about um, this other kid who's in a different class on a different floor or whatever. And this kid, I'm not going to name him for privacy I guess. But he hadn't been very kind to me or my friends in the past. I live in a very small town, so everyone's very rednecky or like hick, and he's very farm boy, conservative hunter, that like stereotype of a person, and he's also very rude. So apparently, he was going off in his current class about how he was going to shoot up the school. Was I scared by this? No, because I knew this guy. He's all talk. He doesn't mean shit. Like, he's not gonna do it. But my dumbass <laughs> tweeted, like, LMFAO, like, this kid's really saying that he's gonna, like, shoot up my school. What the fuck? Like, I didn't think he was going to. But, you know, your immediate reaction to that is, like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you're all shit. You're talking big shit. Nothing's gonna happen. But, like, you're really gonna. Like, you're really gonna say that? So I tweeted. Didn't think anything of it. And then I, out of Sarah Yuri's picture, cropped Brendan out of it and tweeted something along the lines of, like, there he is, like, my boy, with the photo, blah, blah, blah. Again, didn't think anything of it. So I go home and I'm chilling at home with my dad leaves or whatever so I'm home alone there's a knock at the door hence I'm home alone and I don't like talking to people I don't answer it and then I run up to my room because you can see the driveway and kind of see who's there so I want to see if it's someone I know it gives my grandparents or something like that and there was a uh, police car in my uh, driveway so I texted my dad and I was like yo like the police are here I don't know why like what do I do and he's like just don't open the door for anything, like, I'll be home soon, so I'm like, okay. They don't come back. Like, when my dad gets home, it's whatever, and I decide, you know, around, I guess, 10, 11-ish, I'm going to go to bed. So at, like, midnight, my dad wakes me up, saying that the police are out the door and they want to talk to me, and I'm like, like, like what the fuck, like, what the fuck did I do? I'm like, half naked, I'm in bed, so I get up. And I like throw a house coat on and I go downstairs and there's this police officer standing there and he like pulls out his phone and he's like is this like you like it did like did you tweet this and I'm like yeah so we talk about it he makes me identify the guy he asks me if I thought he was going to do it or if I was in danger and he just keeps questioning me I'm freaking out. I don't- I feel uncomfortable around authority. I feel uncomfortable around grown men. It's midnight. I'm in my house coat. I just want to go back to sleep. My anxiety is through the roof. I'm like, what? Like, what the fuck? And he also informs me that the tweet was seen by like the RCMP, like Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Like, they got a hold of it and sent out an alert to the OPP, so the Ontario Provincial Police, and then they, like, tracked it all back to me and came to my house to talk to me. 
So I'm told, like, hey, are you going to school tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Even though I really didn't want to go, but at this point I told the police I was. And he's like, okay, we're going to come and question you and question the people who were, like, saying that and, like, um, the guy who was threatening to shoot up the school and all this stuff. And I'm like, so, luckily, the next day it was a snow day, so we didn't have school. Um, I'd given the police my number in case they wanted to like call me to like say when they were coming to the school, or whatever, to talk to me. And I'm like, okay. So I get a call asking, hey, is this a good time for like investigators to come and talk to you? And I'm like, sure, whatever. So these two women come over, and they are like detectives, investigators, whatever. And they come in, <laughs> and we sit down. And they're asking me questions and they're recording it and writing it down and um they have like a class list and they're asking me like who said it who would have heard it like who can confirm because they were gonna go and go to everybody's houses and talk to them and get this full story because even though we weren't sure if it was like a huge threat it was something that they have to like, they have to close the case i'm 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 just you know i'm freaking out i just want this to be over with i want them to leave i want everything to be done i don't want anyone to talk about it whatever but this is where <laughs> this is where it gets good like this is when i lost my shit so these very professional detectives with their like binders and briefcases they like, pull out a screenshot like of my Twitter page including the tweet which has been now like been deleted but they didn't just print out the one tweet I was being questioned about they they printed off um, two tweets they, they printed out the tweet where I posted this very tiny low quality photo of Brendan saying like I'm saying like there he is This woman like looks me dead in the eye and she's like, like, is this him? Like, is this the guy you're talking about? And I and I have to pause for a moment. And I'm like, no, no, like that's that just a singer in a band. And they're like, they're like, who? Like, who is he? And I'm like, that that's Brandon Yuri from uh, Panic at the Disco. He actually lives like in LA, and he's not gonna shoot up my small Ontario school. Like the certainty in her voice when she like asked me like is this is this the guy? Like they had to show that very low quality image of Brennan Jury to everybody in my science class and ask them if he was going to shoot up my school. Honest I don't know what to take from this story. I don't it's still so just wild to me that this even happened. Okay, disclaimer, I don't know what I'm like titling this video yet, but if you are part of the RCMP or the OPP or any police force, nobody is shooting at my school. Please do not track me down and please do not wake me up at midnight knocking at my door asking for an explanation for this video. I don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs>